Hello everyone, this is Orlando again from A Collector's Dream. And today I'm gonna to show you the cards that I think I'm gonna to send to SGC to grade. I've shown you a few of them already. I'm beginning to, I showed you the, uh, the newer cards. I've shown you some of the uh, cards from the 59s and, and so on. And now I'm going through, and, and the 60s, and now I'm going through the 70s. So um, where we left off in the last video were the 1971 black border cards. So I'm gonna go through that. Like I said earlier, I have the entire set. So I'm going through and trying to pull out the cards I feel would grade high and would be valuable. Anything that I think graded would be worth over $100 would be worth grading. If it's gonna be worth maybe $50, $60, with the grading fee, it's probably not gonna be worth grading them. So I'm gonna go through the 71. So uh, like I said in the earlier videos, if you find any cards that you think I should get graded, please put it in the comments below as I show you all these cards. Um, I'll decide or you, we all will decide which ones I'm gonna to send to SGC to get, the, to get them graded. So uh, again, here's going back through the 1971s, Thurman Munson, Roberto Clemente, this one's off center, probably not gonna send that in. This is a high number Richie Allen card. This is a very rare card in nice condition like this. So I'm probably gonna send this in. If it gets graded anything uh, above a seven, it's gonna be worth some money because this is a uh, one of the very high number cards from 1971 and it doesn't have any issues. Uh, so the rest of them, uh, Boog Powell, I think these are all the high number cards. Yeah, these are the high number. So if you get any 71 high numbers in great condition, send them in. They're really difficult to find. This is the Don Baylor rookie card and Dusty Baker rookie card. So this one looks like I'm definitely going to send this in. It's well centered and it's the rookie card. And it looks like that's a gradable card. If it grades anything over a seven for this high series, it would be worth uh, some money. Uh, this is a Luis Aparicio, 71s. I'll have to go through my 71 set and pull out some more of the cards because I mainly pulled out some high numbers. Now here comes 72. This is the Carlton Fist rookie card. Thurman Munson, second, third year. Willie Stargell, again, probably in good condition. Ted Williams, got to look to see if those are worth grading. The Brooks Robinson, just want to show you some of the cards that I'm looking at from my collection to see if I can get these graded, if it's worth getting them graded. The Al K line, these are mostly the stars. This is the traded card of Joe Morgan. These are actually uh, high number 72s. They're gonna be, they, that was the last series that they did traded cards. The first traded cards, if I recall, this is a Frank Robinson traded. All these are gonna be high number cards, 750 and above. This is the uh, Steve Carlton traded. Again, 750 and above. And this is the Tom Seaver. That Tom Seaver looks really nice. That looks like that's gonna be a card to grade. Uh, so let's keep going here. I've got some more 71s here. Uh, shown already. Let me take a quick look at these 71s again. Make sure, if, I don't, I'm not sure if I showed these or not, but we're gonna go ahead and look at them quickly. Just gonna pull them out here. This is at 70s. This is our K line. Ernie Banks, Frank Robinson, Dave Conception, Bert Blyland. I showed these in the last video. P. Rose, Tom Seaver, Reggie Jackson, our K line again. Rod Carew, Johnny Bench, Brooks Robinson, Steve Carter, rookie, and some of the other ones. And the Willie Mays. The Willie Mays. Let's send those in. So I'm going to be moving on to this pile here, which are these 72s. Let's go 
and this will be the last of the box. Oops, okay, here we go. So these are more of the 70s car, 72 cards, the P. Rose. You know, any of these, I'm gonna be sending them in. This is a Steve Garvey. I think that's a Steve Garvey rookie card or second year. Rod Carew. These are very nice. These are worth grading. Some of these, Rod Carew in action. The Raleigh Fingers. The Willie McCovey. Again, in very nice condition. Probably gonna be worth grading that. The Hank Aaron, this one looks like it's uh, miscut. I was gonna send that in last time, it was miscut. I didn't send it in. That won't go be, it won't be going. The Clemente, I love this Clemente card. The Clemente in action. Johnny Bench. Reggie Jackson, 1972. Now we're going to the 1973s. 1973 Nolan Ryan. I didn't send that in because it has a little bad corner. The Hank Aaron. These, I pulled out of packs when I was a kid, all of these, and I said that in my last video. But you can go back and look at the ones that I actually did send graded. They came right out of this box. This one, I'm going to send it in. That's the Nolan Ryan, Steve Carlton, Strikeout Leaders. The Clemente, any Clemente, I'd really like to send those to get them graded. And this is a nice card, I love this. This is from the 1974 and the card number one. And that's when Hank Aaron broke the record. Uh, he hadn't broken it at this time, but they were expecting them to break it. So that's a good card there. This is the Babe Ruth, the all-time RBI leader. This is the uh, Al Bumbry. Dwight Evans, rookie card. This is the number one card from 1974. I think I'm gonna send that in. That looks like it's nicely centered and in good condition. If I can get like a seven for that, which I probably could, it's probably worth grading. This is the number one card from 1974. Uh, another 74, this is the second year Mike Schmidt. Uh, I did send the rookie card in, the 73, and it got a seven. You can look at my videos. Uh, the 1975 cards, I did send the uh, the Brett rookie and the Yount rookie in. And they both, I think they got like a six on those, but this is the Jim Rice rookie. These 75s, again, are really tough to get in good condition. The, the Gary Carter, that's got a bad corner, so I'm not gonna send that in. Uh, the Phil Garner, Keith Hernandez, that one looks like it's in great condition. If it's worth some money, I may get that one graded because it looks like the corners are nice and sharp on that. Uh, this is a 78. These are more rookie cards that I just put in there. This is a Jack Morris rookie. These are from the 70s. That's the Andre Dawson. I think that's the second with the Tops All-Star. Second year, Eddie Murray. I send in the rookie Eddie Murray, and I think I got an eight on that one. This is Cal Ripken rookie. Probably not worth grading. Tony Gwynn rookie. I send in a few Tony Gwynns. They didn't come out that great, an eight or a nine. They gotta come out a nine or more if you're gonna get anything worth their while. If not, don't bother grading them. The Ryan Sandberg and the Tony Gwynn. So, some more rookies. These are all rookie cards. Ryan Sandberg, rookie card. That Doc Gooden, rookie card. Don Manningly, rookie card. Again, these have to be grade high. So if they're not gonna grade high, they're not worth it. This is the Kirby Puckett rookie card. You know, some of these I'll take a good look at. They probably could grade a nine or higher. This is the Dan Marino rookie card, second year. I did send his rookie card in and I got an eight and a half on that. So um, we'll see. Second year Dan Marino. That's a tough one to get because of the black borders, but it looks pretty good. I may send that in, nicely centered. That may be worth going in. This is the starting lineup, Dan Marino. Don't know what that's worth. Uh, this is the Alex Rodriguez rookie. Um, not sure if that's worth grading. This one's probably not worth grading, even though it's Electric Diamond. Unless it's a mint, no, a mint, a mint 10, I'm not gonna get it graded. That's the Cal Ripken rookie card from the Traded. I almost sent that in, but it was so badly off-centered that I decided not to send it in. That's not gonna grade more than a six, so I'm probably not gonna send that in. 
Ozzy Smith rookie card. That looks pretty good, just a little off-centered. Maybe worth it, maybe not. Barry Bonds, rookie card. McGuire. That's the Jose Canseco, which I already have. And again, a lot of this looks like it's dirty, but it's it's the act it's really just the the holder. The holders are kind of been in there for a long time. More Conseco rookie cards. Probably not worth sending these in to be graded. Conseco rookie card. And the last one is the Joe Carter rookie card. So I'm way off centered. So anyway, I showed you this entire box of cards from here. I'm going to pull out at least uh, 50 to 100 cards and see if I can get a good grade out of these. If I can't, that'd be awesome. You know, if they don't look like they're going to grade higher than a seven for the vintage, maybe a six on some of the 59s and 60s for the 50s and 60s. If they don't grade any higher than that, I suggest don't send them in. If they're going to be grading a four or a five for, for vintage cards, unless it's a big name star, it's not worth it. Uh, if they're going to grade a, a seven, an eight, especially for the cards like the 60, 59s and 62s, I would definitely recommend to, to send those in because those are probably going to be worth, you know, worth the money and worth grading them. So that's kind of my advice right now. Because of the way the economy is, I'm not buying any cards. I'm going through all my old cards, going through all my old collection, and just really uh, organizing, uh, grading the cards that I feel are worth grading, and uh, we'll see you know, how they come back from SGC. So I'm getting ready for this other submission, um, and I'm going to be going to the National also. Um, I'll be taking a few of the cards that I graded to the National, these cards that I'm going to be sending in probably will not be ready, even though SGC takes about three weeks to get them graded. But uh, I'm going to finish going through these cards in the next few days, deciding which ones I send in to get graded. And uh, we'll let you know. So please uh, like and subscribe to my videos. And uh, I'll be showing you some more cards as, uh, as time goes by. Everyone have an awesome, awesome, amazing day. And I'll talk to you again soon. This is Orlando from A Collector's Dream. Thank you.